Hello, this is how you create a key door, a door that you have to use a key on uh, using Lua coding language. I'm using Roblox Studio to do this. So what you're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio. You're going to go to this new tab right here, and you're going to just want to click any of these. Uh, basically, in flat terrain or just basic, just nothing is there. So I'd recommend using that. If you're just not planning to do anything with it. So, uh, we don't need this. This is uh, what you're going to want to do. So, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make the door first. So, up here, you can see part on the home page. You're going to click this. And here, you have the part that you need. So, if you just expand that and stuff. And... Yeah, uh, you can use these to, like, this is how you, like, move it around. You can still, like, select and drag it around. And this is how you rotate. You can rotate like this. And you can scale it with the scale tool. I'm just going to make it a quick door. Uh, you can do how you want. So with the material, you can change the material. And like that. So now you're gonna want to insert a script. So if you come over here to explore, if you don't if you don't have it open, click view and click explore and click properties. And it just like scale it down. So it's mostly explore and you got a little bit of properties down here. So next to like this part, so select the part as you can see it's highlighted here. You can click this plus here. And you wanna click script. Okay, this is going to open up the script. Delete this hello world thing. That's just like a template script. So now you're gonna want to make the script. Now the script takes a little while to make. So um, I'll be right back with the script. So this is the script. Pause here um, to like to type the script in. And this is basically what you have to do. Um, the next, so, yeah, this up here is really important. Okay, all of this is, like, how long the door is going to be open. So, this, how many seconds? So, like, two seconds, the door is going to be open. But if you put out 20 seconds, the door is going to be open for 20 seconds. So, let's just put out uh, eight seconds. And door transparency. You, when like the door opens, so zero means the door means the means the part is there's no transparency to it, but point five means the door is like half transparent and one, and anything above one. One plus is um the door is completely transparent. And uh, can collide. You don't want to put false here. So this is gonna so like when the key touches the door, it's gonna the you're gonna the collision will turn off, so you'll be able to walk through the door, and after eight seconds, it's gonna turn on again, and the door is going to be completely solid. Okay, so key up here, this like whatever you name your key. So if it's if so yeah, let's just get into making the key. So up to workspace, click this plus again, you click tool. Okay, and in it, you're going to want to click part. Okay, once you click part, you you need, okay, this is an incredibly important step. You need to go down here in the properties to the name and change it to handle. The H has to be uppercase. It has, it, it literally has to be that or the script does not work and you do not hold the item in your hand. So that basically what that does is you're holding the item there. And so, yes. And the next thing you're going to want to add to the tool is a uh, humanoid right here. And see, it adds a touch interact onto the handle. The handle is the part. The tool is just like the tool. This is what the door will do, and the humanoid means that the player will hold it. So you can design this however you want. 
Uh, so yeah, you can just change the colors around and stuff to just be whatever you want. Uh, you can reshape it into like different shapes if you click this arrow here. But it has to be called tool. Okay, so now that we have this, um, you're going to want to name this tool, put, go down to the name, and type in key, or whatever this is called. So if you name it um, red key or, I don't know, apple or something, this has to, so if you name, so if you go over to key and name it apple, you have to go over here and name it apple. All the uppercases and spaces have to be the exact same. So you can't just put lowercase apple like that. It has to be uppercase apple. Okay? That's how this works. So let's just turn everything back into key. And you can click this X. It doesn't change the script at all. It just gets it off the screen. So now you're going to want to take the key here and take it, drag it down, and put it in the starter pack. Now, as you can see, it's gone. It's in the starter pack. The workspace is like everything on the map. But the starter pack, oh, also uh, on the door, you're going to click anchor or bad stuff is going to happen. So if you put in the starter pack, that means when you join the game, you're going to have it. So... Now that it's in the starter pack, this has to be anchored, by the way, or the door is going to fall over when you touch it. So, yeah, you don't really want that. Now, if you click play, uh, you just wait for the game to load. Okay. So, over here, if you take, this, if you take the key, touch the door, as you can see, I can go through it now. But after eight seconds, it's as you can, so as you can see, I can see through it now, but it's not completely transparent. Now, look, I can't touch the door, but when I take the key out and touch the door with it, I can walk right through. So yeah, that's how you make a key using Lua scripting. Roblox Studio is one of the easiest ways to use Lua if you are unfamiliar with it. So I'd recommend using um, this. So I hope this helped. And yeah, bye.